the greatest president Kenya ever had. We celebrate his achievements, his contribution, and his rich and solid legacy. President Kenyatta has been a good student of President Mwai Kibaki. I know that as his deputy.
President Mwai Kibaki and his history is the history of our country. He was part of the architects of our independence. He was first, he was part of the first government and made a huge contribution. He was vice president to our second president. Honorable Raila Odinga. Your Excellency, President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta, Mama Margaret Kenyatta, Excellencies, Presidents, and other leaders from other African countries who have joined us today as we mourn our third president, Deputy President, diplomats who have been here, Ladies and gentlemen, wana inchi yote, hamjambo. Excellency, I know that many of us will share my plight today. My plight today is just like a, cl a member of the clergy, either a, a father, or a padre who is asked to eulogize a bishop, but not to talk about the bishop's religiosity or religion. I've been asked today to talk about our president, but without talking about politics. I don't know how to eulogize a politician without talking politics. Jadon. How do you measure a man under whose watch Kenya experienced our darkest moment in 2007, yet in this moment President Kibaki shook the hand of his opponent and invited him to form government with him on a 50-50 basis despite opposition from some of his own supporters. Kibaki, the man, had an incredible gift of tolerance. He had the ability to take in pressure and pain without showing distress. And this is why he was known as a man of few words. From his 50 or so years of active politics, he learned not to rush into judgment and decisions. He learned to lay in wait until the swollen river had found its course.